All right, team, welcome to our workout brief for Wednesday the 27th. We're gonna do a workout with a buy-in, buy-out, and possibly some handstands. So in this workout, for time or not, up to you, we are gonna do 100 single unders, which you can replace with jumping jacks, into a one minute accumulated plank hold, and then we are gonna do it for a handstand walk. Not like that. <laughs> We're gonna do 20 meters on that handstand walk. We're then gonna do 20 dumbbell push press, and then we're gonna do 15 meters, 15 dumbbell push press, 10 meters, 10 dumbbell push press, okay? Now, handstand walking is obviously something that is gonna be a bit of a challenge, uh, as you can just see there. <laughs> right, Ellie's been trying to walk through the shot for a while now, so we might be stuck on one to this workout brief for a while. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, so if you've not got handstand walks, then for most of us, our scaling is gonna be a shoulder tap. So in that handstand, tapping the shoulder is one rep. We're gonna do four reps for every one meter specified in the workout. So that is gonna be the first scaling option. Otherwise, you can reduce the number of taps if you need to, but what I prefer we did is reduce the complexity of the handstand variant that we're doing. So from easiest to hardest, we are gonna go for a downward dog position and then go for those shoulder taps, or we are gonna go for a pike with our feet on an elevated surface, or we are gonna do them in a handstand against the wall, either from a wall walk or kicked up against the wall. The main thing in all of these variants is to try and get your hips above your shoulders, okay? So try and really focus on getting your hips above your shoulders, not being in a plank. When you've finished your 20 of each and 15 of each and then 10 of each, you're then gonna buy out with 100 single unders and a one minute plank. So there's gonna be a good bit of abs involved in this one. This workout's gonna be somewhere in the nine to 16 minutes if you're doing it RX. Okay, so use that as a guide when deciding your scaling. The stimulus is really about shoulder endurance under duress, okay? You're gonna go for those 100 single unders, that's gonna get you warm, you're gonna go for your plank, shoulders are starting to get taxed, and then you're gonna get into the main bulk of the workout. This is all in the upper body. So I want you to really focus on using your upper back as much as you can, rather than just using your shoulders. Try and use your back to help you, okay? So when you're extended, think of driving up with your upper back and your pecs, rather than just relying on your elbow lockout. Optional accessory work for today is gonna to be some farmer's carries. So you can either use the variant that you did last week, or I think it was the week before actually, um, or you can find a new option. Essentially what we're gonna do is three sets of 30 to 100 meters, 30 meters if you've got really, really heavy objects, uh, and 100 meters or more if you've got lighter objects, okay? And you're gonna take those heavy objects for a walk. If you've got two, hold them in each hand, otherwise swap halfway. Once you finish that, specify the distance you did in the notes and the weight that you used. You can do this with dumbbells, uh, loaded objects, whatever you wanna use, heavy shopping bags, okay? Just load some stuff up, logs and logs and baskets, that's another option. Um, or just grab some plates if you've got them and hold them in a pinch grip and that'll really, really tax your grip. Once you finish that, get into the mobility section at the end or come and join us on the Zoom for Wednesday's mobility class. Catch you later guys, have a good one. I think so.